Hi, <coughs> welcome to Precalculus. Today's topic is writing a complex number in trigonometric form, the case of decimal answers. Again, we are dealing with the various representation of a point on a plane. We have Cartesian polar, standard complex, polar complex, and the Euler form. <coughs> we are going to be given uh, the location in this form. Sorry. Uh, so we are going to be given the location in standard uh, complex form and <coughs> we want to write it in trigonometric uh, complex form. So uh, our transformation formulas are these and let's go ahead and practice several cases. So first one, z is equal to 3 plus 5i. We can uh, right away detect that this point is in the first quadrant, is that right? Because these uh, x and y or a and b are positive numbers, so <coughs> we have a bit of an easier time. We don't have to deal with uh, trying to guess our angle and such. So uh, 3 is in the x direction, 5 is in the y direction, and uh, one, two, three, four, five. So uh, we would have uh, in old days we would have just say three and five. Now we are saying three plus five i. I means turn around, go north. <coughs> well, easy uh, thing to find is r itself. R squared we said is a squared plus b squared. So if your z is equal to a plus b i. <coughs> r squared is 3 squared plus 5 squared so 25 and 9 is what uh, 30 or is that right uh, r is taken to be a positive quantity so we are assuming that r is square root of 34 <coughs> so we know the r how about the angle well the angle it says give it in radians and give it between 0 and 2 pi. This is a requirement. Well, how do you find the angle here? Uh, you just have this triangle and we have tangent of theta is equal to b over a. So my angle is uh, 5 vertical, 3 horizontal. I go ahead and find this angle. <coughs> uh, my calculator, here is the calculator. <coughs> is going to give an angle and since we are in first quadrant uh, we are lucky we don't need to do anything extra that is just the angle to use so let me get my calculator okay so i used my calculator and find out that theta in radian so <coughs> the calculator has to be set, set in radians uh, so when we go ahead uh, enter this as it is and then let the calculator find inverse tangent of that and then nearest hundredth so theta will be 1.03 so our answer becomes uh, well perhaps it's asking us to find r also in uh, I'm not quite sure So 5.83, so this 5.83 cosine of 1.03 and I sine of 1.03. <coughs> so this is as it's required and so on. All these problems are the same. I just chose four that are in four different quadrants and uh, So this one, we are at 6 minus 5i, so we are going 6 here, and minus 5i. So we would have, in the old days, we, are, we would have said we are at the location 6 minus 5. Now we are saying we are at location 6 minus 5i. So that is where we are. And uh, r, as usual, r squared is 6 squared and minus 5 squared. 
so 36 and 25 so that is what 61 <coughs> or becomes square root of 61 and that one is um, One or two, and uh, this is to the nearest hundred. <clears throat> okay, uh, how about this one? Uh, you can do by uh, <clears throat> visual approach, or you can try to use your calculator. I would suggest using the visual approach. That is, take the picture, and this picture theta, tangent of theta is 5, 6 so I am looking at the reference and let me call this reference angle theta prime okay <clears throat> so reference you go ahead find the reference angle and then figure out what our angle is going to be so theta prime reference angle remember reference angle was a positive angle between your ray and the x-axis we go figure that out and then uh, what is theta that's problem was the uh, problem was this one <clears throat> calculators don't give that to you directly you have to work a little bit to figure it out the safest thing is as i'm just explaining so uh, inverse tangent of let's see inverse tangent of five six so theta prime becomes point six nine four seven etc now what is the theta that we want theta this big angle is two pi minus theta prime so I will write uh, uh, two times pi minus point six nine four seven I enter a few extra digits uh, to be the safe side I get five point five eight eight four etc <clears throat> now uh, the question of rounding comes up since this is eight I have to go up to five point five nine all right uh, that's why it's best to let your calculator do the subtraction for you and get extra digits so that you don't go wrong on this digit here so we have 7.81 times uh, cosine of 5.59 plus i sine of 5.59 and so on so the main challenge is to get your angle correctly so this one I chose it to be in the <clears throat> second quadrant so we are at the location minus one and two uh, so this is old days we were at minus one and two we are at minus one plus two I now uh, who's R uh, R is R squared minus 1 squared plus 2 squared so that becomes 5 so r is square root of 5 again the assumption in the, all these problems the r is positive unless uh, we are told otherwise <coughs> so uh, square root of 5 uh, clear Two point two three six zero etc. So this is going to be two point two four tangent of theta. So first, let's go ahead again to make life easier ourselves. We go this called this angle. Let's see this angle reference angle. I call it theta prime. Okay, I go after reference angle. It's easier tangent of theta prime. Now the numbers are all going to be positive two and one. So we are going to carry the signs ourselves, 2 over 1. So theta prime is going to be arc tangent of 2. Arc tangent of 2, so I will uh, uh, 
uh, tangent inverse of 2 so that is 1.1071 etc what is our theta 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 we say theta is this so <coughs> in this case the angle of theta is pi minus theta prime so we have to do uh, that so I'll have uh, minus uh, let's see pi minus 1.1071 etc. It looks like I get 2.034 uh, etc. So 2.03 should do. <coughs> so this is 2.24 times cosine of 2.03 plus I sine of 2.03 and that takes care of this problem one more uh, <coughs> so this one is obviously in the uh, third quadrant one two three four to the left one down so all days this we were at minus four minus one we are now at minus four minus i what is my r i go calculate r and then calculate theta prime in this triangle so r squared is minus 4 squared minus 1 squared that is 17 so r is square root of 17 again all these problems <coughs> so um, Four point one two three etc. So it's round to four point one two tangent of theta prime. Tangent of theta prime. This is one to four in the reference angle. So that's all positive. One fourth. So theta prime is. tangent inverse of one fourth that is point two four 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 nine etc how about theta can you figure out what the theta is what should I write what's the relationship between theta and theta prime so the reference angle helps us uh, get this thing but we have to have the picture in front of us theta what is theta theta is uh, theta is this one What's the connection of theta and theta prime? Of course, theta is just pi plus theta prime. So uh, I'll take that number and then add to it the pi. Uh, and I get 3.386, etc. So approximately 3.39. So I have 4, 1, 2, cosine of 3.39 plus I sine of 3.39. And so, uh, so decimal answers meant uh, our numbers are not necessarily related to those uh, <coughs> famous angles and uh, we just practiced going back and forth uh, we're going from here to here essentially that was our project okay until next time good luck and god bless